And now, your live Doppler 18 forecast with meteorologist Cameron Hoffman. Weather from where you live. Well, I've been talking about it the last few days. The rain is finally here. Showers and thunderstorms begin to move into the area throughout the morning, will last throughout the rest of the day. And this is out in front of a cold front beginning to move on through later on this afternoon. Now, conditions behind this cold front, clear and cool. We're going to be seeing uh, partly cloudy skies tomorrow. Then after that, we're looking at a clear, cooler weekend ahead. 60 degrees right now. Winds out of the northeast at 3 miles per hour, gusting up to near 12. Humidity around 98%. In turn to the precision, we can show you those showers moving in right now. Here's over the last six hours, beginning to move on in. They're moving up from the south, this cold front moving slowly to the east, and getting a better look at that cold front as it begins to move on in. Here's that line of storms. Notice how the storms are all slowly moving to the north as well, and as they do that, slowly, slowly to the east. On top of that, this system is a very slow moving cold front as it moves on through we are going to be seeing more rain throughout the day in a very slow moving system like I said and we are going to be seeing those clear cooler conditions behind it as it does continue to push further up to the northeast look at the clear dry conditions behind this cold front as it begins to push on through our area future cast showing partly cloudy and mostly cloudy skies throughout the day along with those showers moving on through you can see uh, that system continues to move slowly through our area 5 p.m. we are still looking at a couple scattered showers and by the afternoon we are looking at convective activity in our atmosphere Atmosphere as well, so we could be seeing a couple thunderstorms on top of that. Later on this evening, the rain does clear out. We're going to see those showers begin to taper on off. Partly cloudy, mostly cloudy skies overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, decreasing clouds throughout the day. You could start your day off with an isolated shower or two, but other than that, we are going to be staying uh, partly cloudy throughout most of the day. Saturday, much of your same story. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Future cast showing a couple more clouds than I would like to show. Uh, for Saturday. But as far as your rainfall amounts go today, we're talking about anywhere from a quarter to even a half inch of rain throughout the area today. So plenty of rainfall associated with this system. Your high temperature this afternoon around 69 degrees. These temperatures are about two to three degrees above average for this time of the year. Crawfordsville 70, 67 in Monticello. Overnight tonight will cool down to around 45 degrees. Those showers beginning to taper off. Winds out of the west around five to 10 miles per hour. A little bit warmer down south. Uh, Perrysville 47, Attica 46. And then tomorrow we warm up only to around 65 degrees, partly cloudy. We will see those decreasing clouds throughout the day. Winds tomorrow though, that's the story. West around 15 to 20 miles per hour. Gusts could be as high as 30 miles per hour tomorrow. So temperatures definitely cooling off and uh, blustery conditions come in tomorrow with that cold front passing through later on this afternoon. The good news is things are going to be clearing up for the weekend. 69 and mostly sunny on Saturday. Sunday looks to be about 73 and mostly sunny. And then another chance for rain as a cold front moves on through Monday night into Tuesday as well. More chance for th showers and thunderstorms that day. And then look at the temperatures come Wednesday. A high temperature of only around 56 degrees. Overnight low temperatures in the mid 30s. So we could be talking uh, maybe getting the idea of frost or that freezing uh, line in here over the I next know. week or so. I know it's a terrible thing to say, especially when, since we were only <laughs> dealing with the 80s last week. Just a couple days ago. Just really. a couple yeah. days ago. Yeah, come, uh, definitely. So when we're talking about this uh, freeze line beginning to move on in this, these freezing temperatures, let's hold it off for a little bit. It's not until next week that we got to start dealing with the mid 30s. Then we can start to talk about maybe the low 30s. Oh, goodness. All right. All right. Thanks, Cameron.